This recent development is unexpectedly fascinating, and it concerns the confirmation of the Q-Star leak from OpenEye. In an interview, Sam Altman acknowledged the authenticity of this leak, revealing that it is indeed accurate. However, it's important to note that not all information circulating about Q-Star is factual. There's a considerable amount of conspiracy theories online. First, let's examine the details of what was actually disclosed and understand the implications. The approach involves first understanding the statements made, followed by a comprehensive evaluation of all available information, avoiding premature conclusions. We possess a recent interview conducted by The Verge with Sam Altman. The primary motivation for this interview was to explore the reasons behind his dismissal. During the conversation, Altman pointed out that there were evident issues within the organizational governance structure. This interview stands out as particularly revealing, despite some statements being intentionally vague. Such ambiguity can often be attributed to a desire to maintain professionalism, avoiding impulsive remarks that could tarnish both the company's and individuals' reputations. We'll delve into one of the initial comments made during the interview before addressing the specific statement confirming the occurrence and validity of QSTAR. This discussion underscores their cautious approach in addressing the matter. When discussing the circumstances surrounding Sam Altman's dismissal, he shared that upon being asked by OpenEye's board to return merely a day after his firing, his initial reactions were of hurt and anger. It took me a few minutes to snap out of it and get over the ego and emotions to then be like, here, of course, I want to do that. He recounted during a phone interview on Wednesday, highlighting his eventual willingness to set aside personal feelings for the greater good. Sam Altman expressed a deep affection for the company, noting that he had dedicated his energy to it full-time for the past four and a half years, and even longer if considering the broader span of his commitment. His efforts were primarily focused on making significant advancements toward the mission of developing safe and beneficial artificial general intelligence. This statement marks the first occasion in an interview where Altman has openly discussed his termination, allowing an insight into his emotional response to the situation. In the forthcoming screenshot, which notably caught my attention due to its unexpected authenticity, we find Sam Altman's confirmation regarding the truth of QSTAR. The Verge posed a question about the reported breakthrough with the QSTAR model, inquiring about the specifics of the situation. Altman's response was notably reserved, offering no particular comment on that unfortunate leak. This reaction from Altman is crucial. He neither dismissed the leak as completely unfounded nor provided a direct acknowledgement, leaving his stance somewhat ambiguous yet implicitly confirming the leak's existence by not outright denying it. Altman's choice to remark no comment on that unfortunate leak suggests regret over the information becoming public, which indirectly lends credibility to the reports about QSTAR. This response implies that the coverage by retirers regarding a project named QSTAR and its details as sourced from OpenEye employees was based on legitimate information. Given that this is a statement directly from Sam Altman himself, it significantly reinforces the veracity of the reports concerning QSTAR. This acknowledgement, albeit indirect, affirms the existence of the leak and, by extension, the credibility of the information it contained. Indeed, there's no one else whose words could lend more credibility to the matter than Sam Altman himself. His response sets a foundation for reassessing the information surrounding QSTAR, now with confirmation that the leak indeed originated from OpenEye and has been implicitly acknowledged by Altman. This context urges a reevaluation of the known details about QSTAR, viewing them through a new lens. Altman emphasizes consistency in their messaging, noting that what they have stated two weeks ago aligns with their current statements, as well as what was communicated a year prior. This insistence on consistent messaging underscores a deliberate and steady approach to disclosing information about their projects and advancements. Atrelman's remarks underscore a steadfast commitment to the rapid progression of technology alongside the imperative to ensure its safety and benefit. He articulates that the driving force behind their daily efforts has always been, and will continue to be, this dual pursuit. His reflection on consistency emphasizes OpenEye's unwavering stance on these priorities throughout its endeavors. By stating no particular comment on that unfortunate leak, Altman subtly acknowledges the authenticity of the leak while refraining from direct. This response suggests a nuanced position. While the leak may have disclosed true information, not all speculation surrounding it is accurate. Thus, Altman indicates that among the public conjecture, some aspects align with reality whereas others do not, 
highlighting the complexity of discerning factual information in the wake of such leaks. Altman's subsequent remarks, without delving into specifics about any project or initiative, convey a general optimism about the future of research and technological progress. He acknowledges the potential for encountering obstacles, but maintains an expectation that significant advancements will continue. The emphasis on wanting to engage with the global community reflects an openness and a commitment to collaboration. This approach is aimed at maximizing the positive outcomes of technological developments. By choosing not to comment on any particular detail, Altman strategically keeps the focus on the broader mission of ensuring that progress not only continues, but does so in a manner that is as beneficial as possible. This stance reinforces open eyes, dedication to navigating the complexities of innovation responsibly and ethically. With Sam Altman's response of no comment regarding the leak, it implicitly suggests the veracity of the leaked information about QSTAR. This acknowledgement brings significant implications, indicating that aspects previously deemed unreliable may now warrant a second look for their potential truthfulness. Consequently, it becomes necessary to revisit and critically assess the information initially released, especially that which was reported in the Reuters article. This article represents one of the earliest sources of information on the matter, and has served as a foundation for subsequent media coverage and discussions, including those on platforms like 4chan. The interview with Mir Maratai introduces another layer of complexity, especially regarding OpenEye's stance on safety protocols. When The Verge inquired whether there had been any changes to OpenEye's approach to safety in light of recent developments, Moratti's response was that these developments were unrelated to safety concerns, indicating no changes in their safety strategies. This assertion raises questions and skepticism, as it suggests a disconnection between the leaked information and safety protocols, which some might find hard to reconcile given the potential implications of new AI advancements on safety and ethical considerations. The Reuters report, marking the initial disclosure of information, highlighted a significant moment when OpenAI researchers alerted the board of directors to a potent AI breakthrough, which they believed posed a potential threat to humanity. This communication took place in November 2022, according to the report. The details suggest that several staff members took the proactive step of drafting a letter to express their concerns about the implications of this discovery, emphasizing the gravity of the situation. It's fascinating because it's important to recognize that if multiple employees indeed sent a letter to the board, it's uncertain whether they directly informed senior developers at OpenEye, such as Sam Altman, about their actions. They likely observed the situation, composed the letter to the board, and upon receiving it, the board would have promptly taken action, leading to the possible termination of Sam Altman's role, assuming that's the sequence of events that unfolded. Peters was unable to view the letter, hence they cannot verify the authenticity of the letter circulating on Reddit and 4chan. The content of the letter, which carries potentially shocking information, will be analyzed in an upcoming video. As mentioned previously, it would be preferable if the details within the letter were not true, given the significant global implications and ramifications involved. After being approached by readers, OpenEye, which chose not to comment publicly, did acknowledge in a message to its employees the existence of a project named QSTAR and a letter sent to the board prior to the events of the weekend, according to one source. An OpenEye spokesperson mentioned that a message from Myra Moradi, a long-standing executive, informed the staff about certain media reports without verifying their truthfulness. Reuters was unable to view the letter in question, which contains numerous significant details. Despite having analyzed it before, a re-evaluation is necessary due to new information emerging that, rather than discrediting the letter, appears to reinforce its credibility, which is indeed worrying. The hope remains that the contents of the letter are not true, given the potentially severe implications for all involved. Additionally, an interesting point from an interview with Sam Altman was his response to whether he wished to return to the board. He indicated that it might sound like a prepared statement, but that area is not his current focus. I'm overwhelmed with a significant amount of challenging, crucial, and immediate tasks. Excelling in my role is my priority, not my position on the board, which is not my current focus. My concern lies in whether this pressing work is vital to prevent or mitigate any potential harm to humanity by QSTAR, or if it's just routine activities, for instance, 
OpenAI, referred to as OpenAI, is thought by some to have made a significant advancement in the quest for artificial general intelligence in QSTAR. Despite previously discussing this, it bears repeating that with substantial computational resources, QSTAR demonstrated its capability by solving complex mathematical problems, a task it performed at a level comparable to elementary school students. This achievement, although shared anonymously due to restrictions on official communication, has led to a positive outlook on QSTAR's potential for success. The unsettling aspect of this situation is highlighted by Sam Altman's acknowledgement of the unfortunate nature of the leak, confirming the existence of a project named QSTAR. The uncertainty revolves around the authenticity of its purported capabilities. Although a Reuters letter mentioned an inability to verify these capabilities, the emerging narrative suggests QSTAR might not be the baseless conspiracy theory it was once presumed to be. Altman's recent conversation with The Verge solidified this concern by acknowledging the leak's unfortunate occurrence. He emphasized the expectation for swift technological advancements and the imperative of ensuring safety measures. The lingering question now is the reality of QSTAR's capabilities, given the acknowledged leak, shifting the discourse from skepticism to a more serious contemplation of its potential implications. The situation surrounding Sam Altman's reference to an unfortunate leak has sparked widespread speculation, particularly because no explicit reasons were provided to counter the prevailing narrative. High-profile individuals, like Elon Musk, have sought clarification from the International Institute for Applied Systems Analysis, ISIS, only to be met with silence. Amit Shear, a board member at the time, conducted his own inquiries but failed to uncover any concrete reasons. This absence of explanation has fueled two primary theories. Either the leak pertained to AI safety concerns that, if confirmed, could tarnish OpenAI's reputation, or the leak revealed QSTAR as a significant advancement in AI that does not pose a threat to humanity. The lack of transparency has left the community to speculate on the true nature of the leak, with the implications of either scenario bearing significant weight on the perception and future direction of AI development. The speculation surrounding Sam Altman's departure and the secrecy about the QSTAR project suggests a possible third reason for the ambiguity, one that remains undisclosed. This deliberate vagueness and lack of communication contribute to a situation resembling a game of telephone, where misinformation and confusion proliferate among board members and the AI community. This has led to a broader consensus that dwelling on the reasons for Altman's departure may not be productive. Instead, the focus should shift towards understanding the essence and potential of QSTAR, as well as assessing OpenAI's progress towards achieving artificial general intelligence. The key questions now revolve around the capabilities of QSTAR, its role in the pursuit of AGI, and how far OpenAI has advanced in this quest. Addressing these questions is crucial for evaluating the potential impact on the field of AI and its implications for humanity. The confirmation of the QSTAR leak underscores the reality that there is active development in progress, potentially positioning OpenAI near the threshold of achieving artificial general intelligence. This revelation shifts the discourse towards the future contributions and positions of key individuals within OpenAI. These changes could significantly influence the organization's approach to agile development, ethical considerations, and the broader impact on the AI research community and society at large. Sam Elman expressed his affection and absence of ill will towards him, indicating that they are in the process of determining the future of his role at OpenAI. This situation is quite intriguing and, admittedly, somewhat perplexing. Nonetheless, it does lend credibility to the assertions made in the reader's article, suggesting its likely accuracy. While the exact details remain uncertain, with some aspects potentially exaggerated, Sam Allman's recent acknowledgement of the situation suggests a degree of truthfulness. Furthermore, the manner of Simone's abrupt dismissal, characterized by its hasty and seemingly disorganized nature, indicates that unforeseen developments likely precipitated this action. As time progresses, additional information is expected to emerge, shedding more light on the situation. Your insights and comments on this matter are highly anticipated below.